Hi, you guys, and welcome to my Tuesday Live. So, it is um, actually Tuesday after Mother's Day, so I hope everybody had an awesome, awesome Mother's Day. Um, I did, it was fun, and I am um, so looking forward to this weekend. You guys don't even know how, um, how happy and excited I am uh, that the Redland Show is this weekend. Hi, Maria, good morning. Um, I'm so excited. So I started this a little bit later than I had planned because out there, it is so hot and so humid. So I just wanted to sit in here for a minute, um, talk with you guys, answer some questions, and then go outside. Um, I'm actually gonna be talking about Vandas today because you guys, I don't know about you, if you guys have Vandas, but my Vandas are just like having a party. Everybody is spiking, everybody is blooming, and it's just so exciting. And I wanna know how you guys are doing. How are your Vandas doing? Because mine, like I said, are just, um, going crazy. I don't know if it's what I'm using. Um, I know that I started using um, and I shared with you guys the uh, seaweed kelp So I don't know if that's what's helping it or maybe it's the season. It's a time for them, but they are just going crazy. So um, So what else? Let's see everybody's starting to tune in and Hello, hello, Charlotte. Charlotte. I hope I say your name right um, from Pembroke Pines. Are you guys really really humid like we are here because it is it is unbearable um, and it's not even summertime. It is so hot. Um, I was actually gonna sit out there and start my life out there, but then I was like, no, I'm just gonna chat with you guys and then I'll go out there and share all my bandas and all my stuff that's going on. So I wanted to show you, I have my list for what I'm gonna be getting um, at the show this weekend. And if you have any other recommendations, this is the day to let me know because it is, um, it is on Friday, I'll be there Friday and then I'll start I'll start um, getting whatever, you know, if you guys recommend anything for me to get, I'll just start, you know, putting, putting it on my list and getting it. I did not ask for any orchids for Mother's Day. I told my kids and my husband, no orchids. I want to save everything for when I go to Redlands and see what I get. Um, 50 degrees in Virginia. Oh. Over here, it's probably like 95 I don't even know how, cool, how hot it is over here today, but it's just very, very humid. So anyways, I did get this little mini fowl, and this one I got from my son and his girlfriend. This is the only orchid that I got for Mother's Day, which is beautiful, I love it, it's fine. I wanna just um, get everything at the show because that's where I will get amazing deals and just things that are different. So let me tell you guys what I'm thinking of, um, of actually getting at the show, which I had forgotten. Um, the Agrecum, Eburanum. You remember, you guys? I don't know if you guys saw the video of, um, of Valentine's Day. Um, RF had it. It was beautiful. They had it for like $325. It was enormous, but it was just too expensive. So I'm looking for that one. Um, not too small because I do want to be able to enjoy the blooms, you know, while I get them. So the Agrecum Eburanum. One of you guys reminded me I had completely forgotten about that orchid. Um, so I definitely want to get that one. I also want to get the Clauet. Clawesia Grace Dawn. So these are just all orchids that I don't have that I'm, I want to add to my collection and then I'll see what else I can get. You know, I do want to get more catacetums and I've already told you guys. Uh, catacetums, definitely um, more bare root um, dendrobiums to put on my palms, more vandas to put on my palms, but uh, this is the list that you guys recommended that I get. So I definitely want to look for those orchids and see if I find any of these. Um, the Australian dendrobium. Um, those are really nice. I, I looked online and, and checked, and those are pretty, those are very pretty. Australian dendrobiums, and I do not have any twinkles, so I do want to add the dendrobium twinkle to my collection. So there's, there's anything else that you guys think that I would like, um, let me know. Uh, I do like uh, fragrant orchids, so those are on the top of my list. So any fragrant orchids that you guys can recommend, leave them in the comments below. All right. Um, yeah, you see, um, this person lives in South Florida and it's 84 and 77% humidity. So that is our temperature today. Very hot and very humid and it's not even 10 a.m. So. All right, so you guys, I'm gonna take you outside. I'm gonna show you my Vandas because what's going on out there is awesome. I have, um, all my Vandas have these amazing root tips on them and a lot of them are in spike, and it's happening very quickly. I mean, I have one Vanda that's in spike again, and I just had her flower, I would say in, 
she bloomed for me, I would say in February, and she has another spike, and she's a beautiful Vanda, so I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna show you. I'm just trying to get <laughs> cooled off a little bit. <laughs> you see, it's humid in Melbourne too. I know, Florida is such a humid state, you guys. I know, but it's, you know, it's hot, it's humid, but, you know, we're used to it, right? All right, so. Let's go out there. Maybe I should pick my hair up. All right, so everybody, I hope everybody had a nice Mother's Day. I had, it was, it was really nice. A really nice Mother's Day with my family. Um, I wasn't able to fertilize, so I got everything fertilized yesterday, and you're gonna see I have all my orchids out um, hanging in my gazebo, so. I'm also having my coffee, so um, let's go outside. You know what, I think I'm gonna pick this hair up because it is hot and it is humid. And let's go. All right, so once I'm out there, I can't go too far because I do lose connection. So I'm gonna show you what is. All right, so we're out here. All right, so you see I finished, um, I did fertilize yesterday, so I have everything hanging, hanging here under this gazebo and everything's still kind of out. All right, so these I had shared with you guys before. Uh, these are beautiful. These are my mini Vandas. They came from, from, from Carmela last year, and she's in bloom. Now, she is super, super fragrant. This one, oh, it smells like sweet. It smells a little bit, um, I wanna say cinnamony, but like sweet at the same time. Um, I have this one in bloom right here. So once I started using that seaweed kelp, like I said, I don't know if it's coincidental, but everything is just, Everything is just blooming, blooming, blooming like crazy. Now this is my Vanda Golden Dubloon. I did get this one last Mother's Day and she was in bloom, I wanna say like maybe February and right now she has two spikes again. So this is what I'm talking about you guys. Look at these root tips. They are just so nice and healthy. And let me just move a little bit quickly over here where I can show you my, my other Vandas. So look at this. Everything is just, all the roots are coming out. Everything is looking so healthy and so, just so green. And I have this spike right here. Now this is my Pachera Delight. And I've got a new spike on that one. I have a new spike all the way up here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is my Aroetis. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but she is a beautiful Vanda. She kind of has these long, long um, uh, spikes and full of flowers and smells amazing. I have another spike right here. Another one right over here. And there's another one I don't know but you guys look at how just they're throwing out new roots throwing out new new root tips so I am using that seaweed kelp and I'm adding it with my um, my 2020 20 fertilizer and I am doing this every two weeks the seaweed I've also started using the Epsom salt every week when I fertilize so that's what's going on with my Vandas out here now my Vanda's, my Renanthera is not doing so good, you guys. This is just, I don't know, she doesn't like to be potted. And then my Mimi Palmer over there, she's looking a little better. This is my Mimi Palmer that I have in this clay pot. Look at that, so that's a clay pot. And then my Emma Von Deventure, which is always blooming for me on my palm on my palm so I want to tell you that I do think that it could be it could be the seaweed kelp that I'm using that's helping it um, I don't know I kind of wanted you guys feedback if you have Vandas um, maybe it's it's you know that time of the year when they just all decide to bloom all at the same time or is it that you know that that booster that seaweed kelp is it is it helping it that much because if it is i will never stop using that thing um you know i always try to change 
Um, every time I get um, recommendations, I always try to change my fertilizing routine and add things that are new. But I would say that that seaweed kelp, I think that's what's, what's making the difference because I have never seen my Vandas look so good. And, and everything else, I mean, look at all, I mean, just the foliage and everything is just so green and the roots are doing, are looking so healthy. And I, you know, I'm even my, even my fowls. I mean, look at, the, look at these roots. Hello, Cheryl, happy Mother's Day. I hope you got, I hope you had an amazing day yesterday or Sunday, sorry. <laughs> so everything is looking really, really, really green. Oh, and now that I'm here, let me show you guys my grandma phylum. So this is my grandma phylum that was rotting. It's, I still haven't repotted it. And I do have some repotting videos that I owe you guys, and I will get those, get those videos up hopefully this week. So this is my grandma phylum that was, that was rotting, and I have a beautiful new growth here. And this growth grew overnight. <laughs> Look at that. And then I have two more over here. So it's doing, it's doing pretty good for being a little bit sick. I haven't repotted her yet. And these I haven't repotted either. I removed them from where they were and I just kind of have them here sitting in this clay pot. Not sure what I want to do with them. If you guys have any, any suggestions for me, let me know. And hi from Puerto Rico. All right, so those are my Vandas, you guys. Um, let me know how your Vandas are doing. And let's see what else I can share with you today. Uh, like I said, I'm getting ready for the show. Show is this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, in, in Redlands, and almost in Homestead. Um, and that's gonna be super exciting. I do have my list that I've read to you guys. So if you have any other recommendations for me, let me know. Uh, let me just show you what's up here. Now that I'm here. Okay, and these are, and I don't keep them here, but I kind of like, I'm kind of, let me just show you guys really quick. I never keep them here under this little gazebo, but they don't look too bad. Oh, another thing I was gonna, I'm a little bit concerned about. So this is my, my Catacetum, my Monaria Millennium Magic. And I swear I looked for, a snail, I looked for a grasshopper, I didn't find anything. But look, somebody has been chomping on that new growth. Uh, and this is my, my, my witchcraft catacetum. I didn't find any insects out there, so I don't know what in the world. So I moved her and now she's, she's there. Look at my nuss moms are doing very nice and growing. Look at all those growths. So that's fine. All right, so somebody just asked me about um, that. You notice that I do keep them in a north facing window and I do keep all of my Vandas that are hanging here. This is a north facing window. They love it. You know, it's just very hot for you, very hot for them out here. If I put them in any other window, they will burn to a crisp. So they are hanging in a north facing window until I get like a pergola or somewhere to hang them. I don't want to move them now. They are very happy, so I don't want to mess with that. And, and that's it. Um, I will continue, continue doing what I'm doing because they love it and they're happy. So I am going to end this video. Uh, I just wanted to say hi and um, tell you guys that my Vandas are doing fantastic. If you guys have any questions on how to, you know, how to keep your Vandas happy and growing. Um, currently, I am using that seaweed kelp and they are and they are happy. So um, if you have any questions, anything, leave them in the comments below. I will um, film this weekend. I'm very excited for the show. So I will film this weekend. Uh, probably be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So hopefully, I'm not going to do three videos on that. Um, I'll probably just get everything together and do one video. But um, that's it, you guys. Have a good, fr um, a good Tuesday. Have a good week ahead. And for those in South Florida, you guys stay hydrated and inside because it is ugh, hot out here. And that's it. Have a nice day, you guys. I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.